Hey everyone, welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I almost said Portable 3rd. <laughs> and I didn't do any quests uh, last uh, in, off camera here because I'm an idiot and she has something to say. And I should have talked to her last time before ending. So, once again, Hunter, you got an incredible results. Calling me impressed. Who would have. Excuse me. Who'd have thunk there really was a mysterious thing in the woods? I'm moved, I must say, to have such a pure, trusting heart. See this tear in the tear in the corner of my eye? <laughs> Down to business. Uh, letters singing you with praise, or letters singing your praises have come in from all across the land. Ah, know what that means? Drum roll, presenting a new hunting ground. Ah, you can now head to the flooded forest. Yes, I actually. There's a monster here I want to fight. Hmm. Wondering what sort of place it is? Yeah, me too. According to my in-depth and kind of heavy guidebook. That's a bit of a thing for her, if you can't tell. Flooded forest. A forest flooded with water. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't forget your towel. Oh, uh, the guild also wants you to hunt a big monster called uh, Kuropeko on the Sandy Plains. Time to start your stuff. Alright, so we have... We now have uh, three things. Alright, so nothing new out of there. We're gonna have three star quests. So, um, playing with fire is the Kuropeko. Definitely. And. Oh, the Great Ragi. Alright, perfect. And. I'm actually going to go change my weapon. The Great Ragi is the monster that I've been wanting to fight. And I'm gonna grab my. Uh, I'm gonna grab a hammer. Because uh, it's an ice. It's my strongest weapon, and it's an ice weapon. And as you might tell, Great Ragi is weak to ice. Um, in fact, if you've uh, if you watched my Portable Third playthrough, he's no different. In fact, every monster in that game that is also in this game is exactly the same. Ooh, Rapscallion. That's our increased veggie that we got here. But we're not going to care much about that. We're going to go uh, with these two because I want to hope for Slugger. Doesn't matter if I actually get it or not, but it'd be nice. Uh, no, I didn't get it. Alright. Oh, but I did get a voucher. And... This game... This game doesn't have... Oh, the chief's over here. This game doesn't have a box. Outside in the village here, if I want to... Uh, if I want to go uh, put my uh, that voucher away, i got to go to my room. Um, which I can do still, because I haven't actually taken a quest yet. But... Uh, it's kind of annoying. Because uh, when you're in the port, there's a, an item box right by the gate that leads you off, that you go off to on quests. And uh, it's just uh, an item box. You can't do equipment there, but you can put items away and grab items and whatnot there. And the fact that you can't do that here is kind of annoying, to be honest. Wait, what's a deadly ca deadliest catch? Oh, extra, lo more Ludroth. Pest controls, Banabras, that's going to be good for monster fluids. This one, I'm probably going to point something out to actually. So let's go take after, take after. Let's go take out this toxic troublemaker. I'm sort of thinking ahead and whatnot there. When I'm finished this, we're going to uh, we're going to go take care of the the uh, the Kuropeko as well. well. Welcome to the flooded forest, everyone. You uh, may recognize it from uh, Portable Third if you watch my playthrough, or if you were just familiar with the series in general. Uh, but uh, it's a little different. This game has water. <laughs> this game has swimming. So if you are only... If you've only seen the... Do I care about pellet shots with that much? No, I don't. So if you've only seen the Flooded Forest in Portable 3rd, for example, there are a few areas like... Area 3 on the map, and Area 6 on the map, and Area 5 on the map here, and even 8 are going to be very different to you. 8, not so much, but uh, there is definitely, definitely some, uh, some, sh some water shenanigans. Oh, 4 as well. 4 will be different as well. Where is Great Ragi? Is he going to? Oh, is he? Did they start him up in the in the nest area? I wonder. 
So this is four. And uh, it looks about the same, but remember, swimming is a thing. Also, if you're looking for golden fish in this uh, in the flooded forest, this fishing spot in front of me here, you can get them there. You can also use uh, well, use your golden fish bait there because uh, that's. I, I tend to find you get the, the better concentration of them there, and also the fact that they can show up regularly there as well. I'm actually not sure if you use the golden fish bait in a fishing pond where uh, they're can't they can't regularly spawn if they'll actually show. I've never actually tried that. It's because I know where they show up. I just go to where I know I can get them. Okay, camera was a little moved a little quicker than I expected there. Oh, here we go. Bullying the Apton off. Spit in his face. Disrespect. You know, I know those the Apton off are like small herbivores sort of thing, but they're actually bigger quite quite a bit bigger than some of these smaller large monsters like that guy stood out there he was he was definitely larger if not size category sort of thing just kind of on par with Robbie here and honestly the only reason why he's not uh, considered dangerous is because like he's just big that's it and a herbivore but again like from Portable Third, for example, Durambros is big and he's a herbivore. And he's, you know, dangerous because he's got, uh, well, he's freaking massive and he's got that nice uh, tail hammer club sort of thing. But uh, it, it's just kind of weird. They haven't done anything with the Aptonoff to, like, make a larger, more aggressive uh, uh, version of him, essentially. Just an observation. Uh, ah! I did not expect to move there. Not spitting on me this time. Alright, just broke his crest. I don't know how I dodged through that, but I'm not complaining. Got him. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> well, not really, just gonna screw up what I'm doing. I'm gonna get that shiny before he uh, decides to not let me get it. Wyvern tier, good, I need the money. Ah, oh, you did spit on me, you dick. Oh, I was hoping that would flinch him. Well, that's bad, that was a mistake. I should not got up. Shouldn't have got up. Oh, I'm... Wow, I'm getting my ass sort of handed to me here. Alright. I'm not gonna bother healing the poison. Oh, this is it. I don't think he's going to survive past this. Well, if I miss him with half my combo, maybe. No. There. We're done. Alright. That's great, Rogi. He's exactly the same as previous games. Don't let him spit on you. That's basically it. He's, he's great, Jaggy. But uh, with poison spit. Weak to ice. Weak point is his head. Because his entire body is one thing and then his head is, is another. That That's it. No, uh, just like Grey Jaggy. And also the other uh, Bird Wyvern guy in this game as well. They're all the same. They have uh, just the head and the body. And their weaker point is their head. Regardless of what weapon you're using, the weaker point is the head. Is there no mining point in here? Oh, yes, it's over here. It's the uh, bit of a downside to uh, going to having like mining points stuff like this, then uh, as opposed to what Portable Third and like Freedom Unite had, the the static uh, areas to the search, as far as like they can spawn in different areas in the location inside of that area of the map. 
so they're not always going to be in the same spot. They have likely locations that they'll be more often than not, but there's no guarantee they'll be in any specific place. So, uh, you, you can kind of find... That's a lot of poison sacks. Oh my god, that's a lot of poison sacks. Thank you for the poison sacks. <laughs> Sadly, I think I need more stuff from him himself, other than just poison sacks, but... Oh well. <laughs> oh god. Oh. My elbow. Rebelled. Oh, I just realized that you have something to say. Oh, pretty sweet deal. Sorry, Hunter. I was lost in thought. The RC captain shared some news from, uh, from afar. I can't stop thinking about it. It seems, uh, that, uh, Thinnins... Thinnins? What? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Thin's not in anymore. Uh, and all that crazy city folks are, uh... I don't have no idea what he's trying to say there. There are some rad f uh... Oh, Thin! Thins! Wow! Okay, then. Yeah, everyone's on some rad diet to pack on the pounds. Or some fad diet, perhaps. I uh, hear it's because most rich folk are fat and happy while us working types are uh, horrifyingly muscular and veiny. So, skinny skinny folk are itching to look fat and rich. They've discovered that all the honey, the, that an all honey diet will really plump you up. Oh, people call it the slim fat diet. Sure. It's, uh, it's made honey a hot commodity. So we're going to install a honey box on the farm. We need to capitalize on this fat and make honey major uh, MOGA export. So, you'll be able to use it too, of course. Made a list of everything we need, but uh, I know you're busy. You know, when is, whenever you got the time. Well, you know, I got the time. Cactus flowers, which I have, you get those in the uh, in the desert, as you might say, in the sandy plains. We are good to go for that because I definitely need those uh, that honey. That'll be nice. Uh, do I have anything in, the, in there right there? No. So let's go get some honey going, shall we? And I think I have. Um, no, I don't. I was about to say, I think I have something to fertilize the honey sort of thing, but I actually do not. <laughs> Something good happened, I plump forgot what I was going to say. Alright, so where's our honey? Here we go, honey. And yeah, I don't have anything, so... Let's get that honey going, because I need honey. Oh, do I ever need honey. I've got tons of, uh, tons of herbs and tons of blue mushrooms, because you can buy them. And uh, not so much honey. So, kind of need the honey. So now, um, Kuropeko is next. I'm going to put stuff away. I'm going to keep the ice hammer. Because uh, Kuropeko is also uh, weak to ice. And uh, I don't know what I was about to say. <laughs> so let's uh, get this... Uh, Same thing as before, I'm hoping for Slugger on this. And, alright, so. Playing with fire. Ran into a scary little wyvern in the sandy plains. Before I knew it, my, de my derriere was on fire. Ah, oh, can't have perverted monsters assaulting women. I want payback, and you're going to help me get it. <laughs> the red-cheeked huntress. <laughs> Uh, I do like the humor in this game. It, it, it they seem to have ramped up the humor a little more in uh, in three uh, in three ultimate here than uh, than previous games sort of thing. Or at least I'm noticing more because I'm actually reading some of the stuff more often now. So uh, I'm going to take the map because uh, Kuropeka likes to fly around, and uh, I'll take my normal shots. I'll take uh, Crag shots. Sonic bombs and dung bombs. All right, I'm gonna ration up, and I do know where he starts. Did they give me cold, give me cold drinks? They did. Okay, good. Because I know where he starts, but then he flies away immediately, and I don't know 100% where he flies to. I have a pretty good idea of where he flies to, but uh, he starts off in eight, which is a hot area, and that's. I believe that's just for this cutscene, this uh, opening sort of thing.
Say goodbye to Kurapeko. Alright, so he flew off this way. I'm not going to take a cold drink just yet because I believe I know where he's going and it's... Um, well, the, the exit out of here was farther away than I had expected. I thought it was closer, but uh, this is where I'm going. I'm pretty sure he ran to 7, uh, which is just right here, which is why I'm going this way. And also why I didn't bother taking a cold drink. It's right here. My health isn't that bad. He is not in 7. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, it would be really annoying. Really annoyed if he went, like, right from from 8 to 4, which is right beside where I started, instead of having to run all the way around here like this. I thought he went to 7. He sleeps in 7. And also, uh, there's a herbivore quest. Uh, herbivore egg quest in 2-star. Uh, yeah, he went right, the, right behind me. But yeah, the herbivore eggs in this place, uh, if you're... Um, Curious as to where they are. In seven, there's a tree. They are in the. They're right by the base of the tree. That's where you get the herbivore eggs. Which is kind of weird because it doesn't look like you get eggs there, but you do. Ah, he didn't stumble. I was hoping he would. Uh, he would flinch from that. Wow, he's like not flinching at all. This is kind of weird. There's a flinch, and I broke a flint, uh, one of his flint stones even. Ow. <laughs> Alright, so sonic bombs are useful because they can stun him when he's uh, trying to do a song or call someone. It stops him from doing it. Don't know if it works when he's raged or not. I don't recall if I've tried. There goes his other Flintstone. Nope. Oh, hi, Jaggy. I'm actually tempted to kill the Great Jaggy here as well. <laughs> he spat on him for across the map. That's hilarious. Oh, thank you, uh, Chacha. And I'm killing the great. I'm actually killing the great Jaggy here because in free ultimate, uh, free hunts are uh, are uh, ooh, are a rewardable thing. So when you uh, kill a monster that's not part of a quest, you get free hunt rewards for it at the end. Which means you basically get like break rewards and uh, and even something like quest uh, quest rewards for it, sort of. So it is still worth it if you need parts from a monster to kill him if he shows up on a quest because you will get quests as if he was a. Well, you'll get rewards basically the same as if it was actually a quest for for him as well. So uh, it's nice. The only time you don't get rewards like that when you kill a monster is if you kill a monster in Moga Woods. And by that I mean like a free hunt in Moga Woods. Damn it. Okay, good. There. Oh wow, that actually killed him. That was a uh, that was a good kill. I thought the Rhinopolis was going to give me trouble there and knock me out of it, but he did not. That was very nice of him to cooperate like that. So I'm gonna carve him. I'm gonna sharpen my weapon just to top it off. And he's down in three. So now that I've killed the Jaggy, uh, the Great Jaggy here, which was that extra monster for this quest. If you saw, there was a, a danger when I was selecting this quest. Uh, it's guaranteed to be Great Jaggy for this first time. I don't believe it's guaranteed to be Great Jaggy if you replay the, the the quest, but I'm not sure what other monsters he can summon at this point, so it might only just be him. And uh, he can't call the Great Jaggy anymore because he's dead. Although, I'm not sure if, uh, if another one will spawn after that tra uh, Jaggy's body has uh, disappeared. That is a possibility. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but once again, not complaining. Although he can still call regular Jaggy and Jagia, I guess. Oh, nice. Oh, and he turned into it. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Oh, I was really hoping that would uh, flinch him out of the flight. The flight. Oh, there we go. Did I not sharpen? I didn't sharpen before coming in here like I said I was going to. That actually explains why my sharpness just went down. Alright, I'm an idiot. Oh, he's hungry. Beautiful. Well, this is going to be the end of him. Oh, he's moving again, dang it. Ow! Well, at least I actually saw my hit effect that time. No, don't run out of, don't run out of stamina! Oh! Just, 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 just missed him. Yeah, I'm not catching him. He's getting away. Well, again, I know where he sleeps. Are you... Okay, my it didn't stop my ration. That's fine. Didn't actually stop my ration. Wait, he's flying to two? I thought he would have went straight to seven. I didn't realize he was going to stop here in two. was trying to heal himself. That was a healing song. He eats in, in 7 as well, so I'm surprised he didn't go there. There's a fishing spot at the, in the back of 7, which is where he eats. Mm, fall over. Oh, he moved. Hey, give my whetstone back. I don't care if you take a first aid med, but leave my shit alone. And that was Karapeko. I love the music in this game. Like the the victory music here, it's actually really nice. Like it's, I don't want to say soothing because that's not quite, that's not quite what I mean about it. But it's that, uh, it's almost calming. I guess you could say. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just, I really like it. It's a good style. Where does this lead me? Okay, this is where I was thinking it would leave me. Uh, All right, no, no gathering spot there. In Portable Third, there's a dung spot in here. There doesn't seem to be a dung spot in here in this game, so it's kind of hard to find dung right now. The only place I know to look is the the wyvern next in uh, the, the deserted island. Oh, good! I got another. I got another flintstone. I seem to rarely ever get those. The only way to get them, or the best, you can get them from quest rewards apparently, that's great. Break his flintstones and capture him are the best ways to do it, and I rarely ever get them it seems, so it's nice to see that I'm actually getting some. And here's the free hunt rewards. I get a little bit from him, so I got a screamer, another screamer, and a five. So like, like I said, you will get some quest, uh, quest bonus or free hunt bonuses at the end of a quest from killing a... Uh, like uh, non-target monsters what they show up so it can definitely be worth it although I got very little this time the last time I did it uh, I got quite a lot more so uh, I guess you take what you get right <laughs> and this is something that they do in in, uh, in 3 ultimate I believe they did it in try as well but they'll actually show you your current rankings of your best or your records for them shortest and longest up top like it says and then what you did on on this particular run so this is actually something I wish they would have done in all of the other games. You don't have to go looking something up in uh, in your hunter's notes and whatnot, or your your guild card to find your records if you're curious. Like you can just see the the your current records and compare. 
uh, versus the the creature you fought in this thing. So like, it's a little thing like that. It really doesn't make much of a difference, but I just really appreciate that. And I just wanted to sort of uh, bring that up, I guess. Little things like that. I don't, I don't know. I just I, I like that. I like it a lot. Oh, he's got something to tell me. Can you let me talk to him, game? Thank you. Oh, uh, oh, pa, pa. Brain thought for new mask. Come like a leaping into Chacha's head like flaming comet from outer space. That's a uh, pretty uh, wide imagination you got there, Chacha. It's mask with fluffy ears. Extra floppy floppy so you give hug hug. <laughs> Chacha leave plans with village chief Chachild Jr. You already see them? Mask Chacha. And this is the items that he has on him after questing a little bit. So it's good to talk to him after every other quest or so because he will collect items. And actually it's something... And also talking to him will prompt these... And the abilities you learn on conditions, like kill a monster, uh, kill, kill a particular monster, you know, capture particular monsters, things like that, do stuff like that. Like, they all have conditions. I don't think it's just based off level. It's just doing certain things will will have you learn new abilities. So, um, these are actually nice. Withstand winds and currents. Uh... Yeah, what the hell? Give him that. Sure. Alright, so. We are going to go check out... Oh, he's got something to say now. Hey there, Hunter. You know, people have been hearing peculiar cries from the Moga Woods lately. I bet they're hearing the Kurapeko calls. Maybe the beast has built a nest somewhere. Oh, from now on, you may spot Kurapekos in the woods, even if you're not on a quest. You can count on old Junior, eh? I mean, uh... uh, uh yeah. Him. Me. I'll, I'll gather info. So... Keep checking the logo forecast. Oh, and uh, your wee mask pal, or uh, Chocho, or whatever, made a request. <laughs> I'm shocked as you are. Well, uh, check the villager requests. So, fluffy mask. Oh, wow, I actually have what I need for that. I'm surprised. Sure, why not? Fluffy mask. And let's actually talk to him and see what that mask does, shall we? And change masks. I don't remember what this does. Mask with big cute ears. Gives a signal the wearer will mark the location of large monsters on the map. Sadly, the huge ears makes the wearer sensitive and nervous, so they're more likely to not fight at all. Alright, so no fighting, but uh, you get a Psycho Serum effect or an Oracle effect. That's actually nice. I don't really care, but that's how, that is actually a nice effect. So, I got people wanting to talk to me more. Hey, say, kid. Your uh, hunting strength is uh, talk of the village. I reckon it's about time I filled you in about decorations. Okay, yeah, ever notice your equipment has those empty holes called slots? Any veteran will know about these. It's a long story short, but slots are for decorations. You know, decorations award skill points for equipment and blah blah. You can make these with... We can make them with the right things. And uh, put them... Uh, and set uh, forge them and set them. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. And... Uh, and our guild sweetheart. Hey, hiya, hiya. Welcome back. Oh, nice work on that Korapeko hunt. Oh, well, I was back there, uh, or back here eating snacks. I had my fingers crossed for you the whole time. What? Oh, you want to know where the snacks came from? Uh, uh no, nothing gets by you. <laughs> well, since you asked. We just got a job in the, uh, in from the hunting fleet, Captain. Well, they need you to hunt their eternal rival, the Royal Ludroth. Materials will help them fix their boats. I got the snacks for agreeing to take the quest. I already ate your share. But uh, you hunters hate junk food, right? Of course you do. Now then, before you go after the Royal Ludroth, you should have a word with the fleet captain. He's an expert on all things... Pelagic, I think it is. Pelagic? Uh, no idea. I've never actually seen that word written out outside of this game, so I'm assuming Pelagic is, uh, well, aquatic creatures, is what I'm guessing. The Royal Ludroth is included. Oh, good luck. I'll be here snacking on... Oh, nothing, because there are no snacks left. Now, shoo, shoo! So, uh, this game is doing a pretty good job, actually, of telling you what the key quests are through the village. I'm kind of surprised. I don't remember that. And where's the, uh, the fleet captain? He's somewhere around here. There we go. Now, again, I had no prompt to talk to him. There's no speech bubble. You didn't have to talk to him. But uh, he's a little extra thing, so yeah, that's kind of nice. 
Oh, well, uh, this is hard to admit, but we're um, in a bit of a bind. Uh, we have the restoration of the hunting fleet all planned out. The first step is repair the Red Spear, but... Regular Ludroth materials aren't quite big enough for what we need. Well, lucky for us, some uh, rare Ludroth are way larger than average specimens. Folks call them Royal Ludroth. Uh, if we can uh, somehow get our hands on Royal Ludroth materials, uh, the Red Spear would be ship shape and ship shape again. Oh, the sea is... Uh, I have no idea what I was about to say, but it was coming out terrible. So there are their sea beasts, uh, but they can survive on land by using the sponge, or the spongy, scaly manes around their neck to breathe. That's actually kind of interesting. There's only, uh, if only we three were able to get back in the game, hunting Royal Ludroff would be a pleasure cruise. Yeah, it feels so useless. Sure, the hunting fleet of you hunters old rivals, but uh, that's water under the keel. Care lends a hand. Do this favor, and we'll. Let you play around, uh... We'll let you pile around with us heroes in the hunting fleet once some back in action. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we get a new boat. Or we get an extra boat, so we can do two uh, fishing trips at a time. So no one else has anything more to say to me. This time, I am going to take care of some quests and whatnot off-camera. Take care of all the boring quests that, uh... And, uh... And we'll continue... We'll continue the progress next time. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully you will in fact come back next time. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but uh, I'm just going to shut it now. Goodbye!